I am at Maliba Lodge, a five-star destination in the sky in Lesotho, with Chef Mobedi, who's going to teach me how to make trout with shepherd-inspired potato jackets and garden vegetables. Chef, where do we begin? Lesotho's lakes are home to major trout farms exporting mainly to Japan where the popular fish is used in gourmet dishes. The delicious freshwater fish is also a firm favorite with Lesotho locals. And Chef Maubedi takes a lot of pride in his amazing recipe. For this dish you'll need... Olive oil, noble butter. Trout in the pan, now I'm gonna get the garden vegetables going. Grill the veggies in butter. Look at that, look at that. Just take a look at that. That's a beautiful monster fish. And then you can also put a um, little bit more of your lemon on the other side. In go your cherry tomatoes. Tomatoes are going to absorb the fish and butter lemon flavor. Stunning. Chef Mopedi grows his own local vegetables to use in his dishes. A popular vegetable in Lesotho is potato, which is a favorite of Lesotho herdsmen when looking after their flocks in the cold mountains. In my country, you've got head boys that are looking after cattle and animals like that. And then what do they do? They go in the field, steal some potato, and have a beautiful meal. Okay, now I want you to put a little bit more of your capers. Of your capers? Yeah. Going in. I love capers, and they're another ingredient fresh from the locally grown caper bush that complements Chef Mobedi's trout dish. Yeah. Turn our heat off. Yeah. Heat is off. And now it's time to plate. We are ready to plate. Oh my. Ready to go. Time for the main course. You can really taste that he made use of Lesotho's natural resources. The water really just made this fish the best that I've tasted in a while. Trout and capers are typically Northern Hemisphere ingredients, but here in Lesotho, both are homegrown and delicious. Cooking these potatoes in wood fire really brings out the smokiness element in it all. Perfect balance. It's been such an exhilarating adventure in Lesotho with cultural and fine dining elements coming together that I'm inspired to go home and create a phenomenal dish of my own. <laughs>